Paul Duffy is a 25 year old trumpet player and trombone player and piano player, a musician from Liverpool in the United Kingdom. And I grew up in the National Youth Brass Band of Great Britain. And from there, I went to the Black Dyke Brass Band, one of the most famous brass bands in the world. And uh, I played as a soprano cornet soloist with them for seven years. And I just retired my position this fall in order to concentrate on some new musical avenues, we could say. Uh, you have some connection to Sweden, mm -hmm. tell me. Yeah, my, my girlfriend is, is Swedish for five years now, so... Jag kan prata lite svenska, förstå lite mer, and skriva lite less. I find now a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of youngsters are, are trying to get into guitar and, and drums, and, and the, the trumpet is getting forgotten about, I think. And um, well, it's it's difficult to say one's better than the other. So I I, I try to cross them over. So I, I I plug my trumpet into guitar distortion quite often, and and I'm playing the guitar on my trumpet. It's a, it's a mu it's a lot of fun to play together in a group, uh, and the the brass band is one of the the best groups I think to come together and play together and eat fika together. And the, the trumpet is also a very good workout. We breathing a lot. I think it keeps me fit. So, so uh, to tell me about yourself. When when did you start to play trumpet? Yeah, I started to play when I was seven years old, and um, in church on Sundays. In church was the main thing. My dad used to go and play guitar, but he only knew three chords in the guitar. So it didn't matter what what hymn he was playing. It was the same three chords. It sounded terrible. And then uh, me and my brother would play the trumpet. And it was a really great education for me because you learn to play from the piano music, which is in a different key. So from a very young age, I was learning to transpose, which is very useful. Mm. And then from there, I joined the brass band and I found a lot of friends and then your friends keep you going. And yeah, here I am. To have uh, demands, personal demands is very important, personal goals, set yourself goals. So for instance, when I was a, a child, I always wanted to play in the, in the top band of my youth band. And then I achieved that, it was great. And I thought, oh, I've done that. And then you set another goal. And then I wanted to play in the National Youth Brass Band of Great Britain. And I got to the National Youth Band, it's great. And now I need another goal. And that was to, I want to sit on the end, I want to be the principal corner of the National Youth Brass Band, and I got there. And then I wanted to play in the Royal Albert Hall, and that was a dream I had for many years as a kid. And I, I set myself these goals and I, I go for them. And I have some goals I've set, I haven't reached them yet, but I'm still, I'm still going for it. Well, yeah, when I was 10, 11, 12, my parents were forcing me to do 10 minutes practice every day. And they said, you have to do this 10 minute practice or you can't watch the TV. And there was a TV program called Coronation Street, which is a soap opera in England. I, <laughs> I really loved that when I was a kid. And I wasn't allowed to watch Coronation Street unless I did my practice. So I went and did it and I, uh, I used to really dislike it. But maybe when I got to the age of 14, 15, I found a new yeah, a new life and uh, I started to practice a lot then, three, four hours a day. And uh, sometimes I would, I would sit on the piano and start to practice my trumpet and, and I would play the accompaniment on my left hand on the piano so I could accompany myself. And then my parents used to go to my, my trumpet teacher, her name was Linda Nicholson. And uh, they used to say, oh, Paul's doing this great thing. He's, he's playing himself on the piano on the trumpet. He's, he's amazing. And my teacher, she went crazy. It was not allowed. 
no, 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 bad, bad, bad. So I, yeah, I got told off for that. I have to hold the trumpet with two hands. <laughs> but little things like that kept me very interested.